Hello everybody and welcome to another Jurassic World Dominion video and for today's I want to discuss Biosyn and the new Giga and specifically what I want to discuss is why they are going to be super important for Jurassic World Dominion. Now first I, before we begin I want to remind you guys to hit the subscribe button and leave a like as it helps support this channel even more and we're almost at 500 as of recording for this for subscribers. Hopefully we can reach a thousand before the one year anniversary of the channel. But with that, let's continue. So Biosyn, a company that has been a part of the Jurassic Park franchise since the novel and is finally making their return since the very first movie, which was 30 years ago almost. And the Giga, a dinosaur that has been in the shadows of since Jurassic World, is now coming into the light and bringing a new rivalry with the T-Rex itself. And why is both these statements important? Well, because of what they could represent. Now, as for Biosyn, I want to discuss why they are going to be um, sort of the enemies of InGen, even if InGen doesn't appear in this movie. Because throughout the whole franchise of Jurassic Park, Biosyn has been depicted as like the sleazy company that's been trying to steal InGen's work on dinosaurs to make their own quote-unquote better versions. It's been in things like the novel, the first movie, Jurassic World Evolution had it meant had been mentioned. And now finally we are getting the first actual in the movie franchise, the name of the company. Because even in Jurassic Park, Biosyn was not actually mentioned. Only Dotson because he was obviously going to meet um, Dennis Nedry. But the name Biosyn of the company was never used in that movie. And finally we have them appearing. Now why is this important? Because of what their role could be. I think that their role is actually going to be to show the failure of InGen. Because throughout the franchise we've seen hints of how the dinosaurs made by InGen are not real dinosaurs as in like in jurassic world when henry Wu speaks to masrani about the indominus rex he mentions that nothing in jurassic world is natural and that they've always filled gaps in the gene sequence and if their genetic code was pure many dinosaurs would look quite different but they didn't ask for reality he asked for more teeth which yes was mentioned for the indominus rex as that was what it was made to be to not be reality but in honesty it's the truth for the whole franchise ever since the first movie InGen has been stating that these aren't like real real dinosaurs they filled the gaps with other dna of animals like frog or birds or anything that they could do to make it complete genome but for biosyn who's been in the shadows for the whole franchise up till now they're finally stepping into the light and are going to be showing better versions of dinosaurs because let's just face it from what we've seen it looks like they're being set up to like make InGen look like a failure because if we look at dinosaurs like the Deinonychus or the previously mentioned Giganotosaurus who I believe are going to be dinosaurs that are made by InGen I think I mean not InGen made by Biosyn then I think what's going to happen is they're going to represent the success of Biosyn after all their years of in the sh being in the shadows. Because what I think is happening is they're trying to show that Biosyn is able to make real dinosaurs. Like if we look at um, the Deinonychus, for example, the way the first image of them officially released shows them in a stance that is mirroring the raptor squad of Jurassic World, except it's in a way that's presenting them as the better version because they are real dinosaurs. Basically saying, hey, Velociraptor is now a piece of the past. It is no longer the real dinosaur. Or for the Giga itself, it's it's basically the mascot of um, Biosyn itself even more because it's been a part of the franchise since Jurassic World, as it was part of the Indominus Rex's DNA. And with that, also the Indoraptors for Fallen Kingdom. It's been lying in the shadows, waiting for its time to be in, this, in the light, ever since um, the prologue of Jurassic World Dominion, where it killed that prehistoric T-Rex 
that would eventually be used to make Rexy herself. And now in Jurassic World Dominion, the, to the Giga of today will basically be Biosyn in the in a dinosaur form because it's been in the shadows for the whole franchise and now is finally getting its time in the light. And that's why I think the T-Rex vs. Giga fight that will be happening in today time between Rexy and Biosyn's Giga will basically be InGen vs. Biosyn because InGen's the original company that made dinosaurs, but they weren't real dinosaurs. And with Biosyn, they're basically saying this Giga is better than the T-Rex because it's real. It's not filled with other dinosaurs' DNA. This is the real thing. And I think that's why the Biosyn and the Giga are so important because they're going to be based... For the whole franchise, they have been shown as nothing but a sleazy company that's trying to benefit from InGen, except they've been unsuccessful. But now they're... Sh being shown to be even better than InGen with making real dinosaurs, possibly with the help of Dr. Wu or even someone else, which that could be a way to insult Dr. Wu himself because now he's not going to be looked at as the one who brought dinosaurs back to life. He just brought fake um, wannabe dinosaurs. But what do you guys think? Do you think that um, Biosyn is being set up to be the successor of InGen and the Giga is supposed to be the superior dinosaur compared to the T-Rex itself. As with Rexy her specifically, she has been built up throughout the franchise as the face of InGen. She was the main attraction for Jurassic Park, the main attraction for Jurassic World, and the dinosaur that is leading the charge for dinosaurs over the world. And now the Giga, an enemy of the Rex, which was the Rex that um, gave, was the, basically the donor for Rexy to be made, is now back to take control, as it did 65 million years ago when it killed that prehistoric T-Rex. And for Biosyn, they're doing the same thing. They've been defeated time and time again in the past and now are in the shadows, but finally in Jurassic World Dominion, they are stepping into the light. But what do you guys think? Do you think that Biosyn is being set up to be the superior company and with the Giga it's going to be presented as the superior and pure dinosaur or do you think this is just um, a fun theory that could could just be speculation leave in the comments what you think but if you've enjoyed this video I'd appreciate the like and if you have any other Jurassic World Dominion Camp Cretaceous theories or even Evolution 2 stuff you want me to talk about, leave them in the comments. Be safe, join the hunt by hitting subscribe, of course, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye bye